So this video is going to be a little bit different to the last few videos we've made. The reason for this is we haven't really given you an introduction to the two dogs, which are the main focus of our page and of our videos. And so we thought it would be a good idea to introduce you to Layla, the white one, our first dog, and Chloe, the brown one, the second dog. So the first dog we're going to start with is Layla, the white one. Layla's had a bit of a rough history. She was never a healthy dog when she was younger. She suffered with a lot of medical issues, sadly. She wasn't actually even the dog that we asked for or that we applied to get. But yet, we still love her endlessly. So I'll go back to the beginning. I'll start right at the start. And my first dog, Milo, a black Labrador, when he passed away, we gave it about two weeks and decided that we wanted a new dog. We always vowed that we would never get a new dog. But after being away from not having a dog in the house for so long, we decided it was best to get a new one. So we started looking online and my mom set her heart on a Shih Tzu. We looked for a few breeders, uh, luckily found one in Takai. She's always bred Shih Tzus, but the next Shih Tzu was available in four months and my mom had set her heart on this dog and she was not going to wait four months and so we decided to carry on looking we eventually found one on gumtree which is layla it was being sold as a shih tzu they were apparently 10 weeks old there was only one puppy left and we could pick it up the following day so off we went to the engine in by canal walk and met up with this breeder and as they pulled up in this rickety old car a huge puff of smoke came out their car and here in this lady's arms was this tiny little bundle of joy, the smallest thing, literally the size of my hand. So obviously we all rushed over and we're like, oh, we've got to take her, we've got to take her. So we took her home and later that night she started suckling my finger. And she was always suckling at night and we were like, this is strange. She can't be 10 weeks, she was absolutely tiny. So we took her to the vet and the vet said, there's no way she's 10 weeks. She must be five weeks old, maximum. A month passed by and we decided we want to get a friend for Layla. So we went um, to the same Shih Tzu breeder that we found last time and we took Layla over and we met her dogs and the one mother was pregnant and the little Yorkie, she also breeds Yorkies, was also pregnant. First thing she said to us was, there's no way this is a Shih Tzu, this is a Pekingese. And obviously all of us shocked, we never wanted a Pekingese. And so we phoned my dad in the UK, he was on business at the time, and we said, guess what? We have a Pekingese, not a Shih Tzu. So we had a look at her Shih Tzus and decided we were definitely going to get a Shih Tzu puppy from her when they were born in two months or so. About a month later, two months after we had bought, picked up Layla, she started struggling to breathe at night. And so we'd wake up two o'clock in the morning sometime with this little dog gasping for air. And it ended up with us rushing her to the vet at two o'clock in the morning. Always happened to be on a Sunday, of course. So you pay double the price. But anyways, every single week, we would take her to the vet, they'd put her in an oxygen tent, and then she would start going downhill for the rest of the week. She'd be a little bundle of joy at the start, so happy, so playful, so full of energy, and then she would just start going downhill until eventually we would have to take her back to the vet and put her in an oxygen tent. So these medical issues and breathing issues carried on for quite some while. We eventually got to the point where it was either put Layla down or find another solution because it was becoming too costly for us to pay 2,000 Rand every week to put it in an oxygen tent and it was also a little bit cruel to keep this dog alive if she was suffering so much. 
And so we looked at other options and we decided to try and build her an oxygen tent ourselves. And the vets obviously said to us, no, this is impossible, you need the right equipment and you're just crazy, rather just put the dog down and put it out of its misery, stop it suffering. But obviously we have all fallen in love with this dog and we do not want to let it go. So my dad pursued on, he managed to find a place that would supply him oxygen. The only reason they did it is because they thought it was so admirable that we were keeping this dog alive, or trying our best to at least. Um, and so... <laughs> I can't do it when there's people. <laughs> so they lent us an oxygen tank and my dad managed to set up a whole system with a box. And every single night we would put Layla in it and she would sleep in it. It was difficult at first to get her to actually sleep in it because she was so used to sleeping on our bed. But over time, I think it only took a month of putting her in oxygen every single day, she grew out of it and she didn't need to have an operation and now she is a happy, healthy dog, which is amazing. But anyways, back to Chloe. Now that we've spoken about Layla, we're gonna speak a bit about Chloe. So Chloe came along, I'd say, when Layla was about a year old. Shortly after we had got Layla, we decided, okay, no, we need two dogs. They always need a friend when we go out and it's better not leaving them on their own. And so we decided to get a Shih Tzu, which is what my mom always wanted, which is what we had originally planned to get. And so we went and we spoke to the Shih Tzu breeder and she happened to be having Shih Tzu puppies in the next four months. And so it worked out perfectly. When the puppies were born, we went over to introduce Leda to the Shih Tzu puppies. And Chloe was also there. Now Chloe was a bit of a mistake. Basically what happened is the Shih Tzu dad, who's a lot bigger than the teacup Yorkie she had, got into one of the Yorkie's cages and impregnated her. And along came Chloe. <laughs> Because the mom was a teacup Yorkie, literally about this big, she could only have one baby and she had to have a cesarean. The minute Chloe and Layla met, they fell in love instantly. It was that, like love at first sight. Every time we would put Layla with the Shih Tzu's puppies and she would just go back to Chloe and play with her for hours on end and it was so cute. The Shih Tzu breeder, her name was Karen, she saw how in love these two were and Chloe already had a home. Um, she was due to go to someone else but she saw how inseparable these two were and so she turned around and said if you want her I'd be more than happy to tell the person that I can't give her away anymore and you guys could take her. It was also a bonus for us because the Shih Tzu puppies were around seven grand and Chloe she said just cover the cost of the cesarean and that's all I need. Now Chloe is very different to Layla she's not as demanding um, not as needy as Layla is but she is the sweetest dog ever she has the kindest most loving nature um, absolutely obsessed with fish loves the water funny enough when she was a puppy she almost drowned in a friend of ours pool um, and from then on she was absolutely frightened of water and when we first got on the boat, she used to shake like mad. I'm sure you'll see in our beginning videos how much she used to shake. Um, and so we were a bit nervous that she would never really get used to it. She is now the complete opposite. She loves water more than anything. She is a complete and utter water baby and obsessed with fish. So she can literally hear the rod before anybody else and she'll come running back and forth, barking, letting us know that there's a fish on the line. 